Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to cover the basics of toggles in SwiftUI. So toggles are basically, think of it as light switches, where you toggle it on and off, on and off. So the values will switch between true and false. So this is usually found in settings page of an application, as it can be used to toggle the user settings, for example, face ID, if you want to enable Face ID as a feature, you could toggle that as true. And if you don't want that, you can toggle that as false. I will show you it in a few minutes. Okay, so now to actually declare a toggle, we would write toggle. And then the most common way of declaring one is to use is on and label, as it is much more customizable. So, as you can see in our simulator or in our content previews, this is the code complete or what is set as default by Apple. But to achieve that toggle, that toggling between true and false, we would have to create an at state variable. That way we can actually um, modify the values of the variable. As we know in structs, in normal structs, we aren't able to access normal variables without the at state being in front of the variable. So at state, I'm just going to call this is on and it would equal to false. And in this is on part, I'm just going to pass in is on. And for the text, it's going to call this toggle like so. And if we resume our content previews, we could see uh, toggle and then we could actually toggle our toggle like so. So uh, the green background is enabled or true and then when it's not, it's false. I'm going to embed this in a navigation view and I'm just going to explain you what I'm going to do next. Give it a bar title of settings. Okay, so let's pretend that this is our settings page in some kind of application. And usually in uh, in an application, we would have the user choose between dark mode and light mode. So to do that, we could set the, we could call at environment dot color scheme. And then I'm just going to give it a variable of color scheme. So this will be accessing our the color uh, the current color scheme the user is currently using. For our variable here is on, I'm gonna change it to toggle dark mode, as it would make more sense in our content over here. There. And then for the text, just gonna call it enable dark mode. Okay, as you can see, if we just run that, it wouldn't show anything, it wouldn't toggle dark mode or anything. But if we write something like, if we go down here and say the preferred color scheme, we can use the ternary operator and say toggle, if, to if toggle dark mode is true, is true, then we would give it the value of dark. Otherwise, if it's false, then we would give it white. So, as you can see here, right now it's false. So the ternary operator would be the light mode. But if we turn this on, it now goes to dark mode. So that is one way of using toggles. Another way of toggles is to, for example, if we enable or if yeah, if we enable this toggle, it would perform some kind of function, like what a button would do. For a SwiftUI button, if you click on the button, it would perform a certain action. So to do that, we would create another button for fun. So toggle, I'm gonna use a different format to declare in toggles. For this one, I'm gonna call it enable face ID since that's what I want to do right now. Enable face ID and is on would be 
oh right, I have to create another state variable. So um, I'm just gonna call this enable face ID. And that would also be a boolean and would be false as default. And obviously we're just gonna pass in enable face ID like so. Oh, we don't need this bracket since I've already declared the the view or the label. Okay, so if you want to perform an action, there's actually no way of saying, like, once it's toggled, I want to perform an action. But there's a alternative way to approaching it. That is to use the dot on change method or whatever, whatever you call it. I don't even know if it's a method or not. Okay, so dot on change, and then if if enable face ID is changed, we could enable the face ID feature for the user. So value in okay. Okay, so we could say that if enable face ID is true. So if the user wants to enable the face ID feature, if enable face ID is true then we would call this function enable face id function which obviously doesn't do anything as of now i think i said that before but yeah if you want to really enable face id in this case we would actually just call a function or write something over here that says something like i'm just going to copy and paste my code because i wrote this before but I'm not going to go into the details of this, and this video isn't dedicated to uh, auth authentication. And yeah, so we won't go into all this detail, but this is just the code to enable Face ID. Okay, so that, I think that should work. That should show that enable Face ID is a toggle, and if we click on it, it's going to show, or it's going to perform this action. Okay, so this is not showing. I'm just gonna reorganize my code a little bit. I think that may be why. There, okay, so now it shows the two, the two toggles. I'm just gonna give it a padding of 20. Okay, so if the user enables this face ID function, it's gonna call this, it's gonna call this function. Okay, if we just run this, if we go and run the actual simulator, we would see that if we toggle this the first time and close the app and run it again, that it wouldn't save our values. So if enable face ID, we set it to true this time and then go back to home, run it again, it wouldn't be the value that we set last time. So to do that, I'm just going to use a bit of user defaults or known otherwise at, as app storage for iOS 14. And I'm just going to give this something like enable face ID. So this is basically just user defaults where it saves the user information and saves it where it left off on. So. If we do that again, if we run it and say we want to enable this face ID feature in our settings, and if we run it again, it would save our data. So yeah, enable face ID. Okay, so this all looks pretty good, but let's say if we want to create a custom toggle like a custom toggle is something like I'm going to launch my other application and show you what it is. So a custom button looks something like this. So it doesn't look like our normal button with all these native toggles. Instead, we can actually define our own type of toggle with its own style. For example, right now it says disabled and then we could enable it, disable it enable it like so. So it's basically our own style that we create. So custom toggles is what we call it. 
Normally, I wouldn't really suggest you to use this because it's not native in terms of Apple products, so it might feel a bit off for some users, but you could do it nevertheless. So to create a custom toggle, we're gonna create a new struct and just gonna give it a name such as custom toggle, custom toggle style. And then it would be the toggle style. And over here, we have to make the body of our toggle. <laughs> okay, so just a disclaimer, I think I'm getting my code over here from Paul Hudson. So credits to him, the father of Swift tutorials and whatnot. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna create a button. I think internally, SwiftUI looks at toggles as a type of button. So just keep that in mind. And button configuration dot is on dot toggle. So we're gonna see if the button is, I mean, we're, we're gonna treat it as a button and toggle it when we're going to do so, I guess. And then we're gonna give it a label. This is like what we did over here with the label. Uh, but we're doing it at the trolling closure here. Configuration dot label. And give it an icon, I suppose. And I'm not going to do anything too fancy, but you could go all in if you want. I'm just going to give it a capsule, a capsule view and give it a frame of, I don't know, width is 100 and height is 35. I'm just gonna put this in, put this in content view and let the preview do its work, okay. So toggle, toggle, I'm not gonna give it a name, but I'm, but I am gonna set it a value, so Gonna create a new at state variable, custom toggle is a boolean and would be false. Alright, I should be declaring these as private, but that's what Swift wants us to do. Private. Okay. And over here for custom custom toggle, we're gonna set it's it's on to the custom toggle. And that's basically it. Oh, right, I forgot the binding to modify the values. So gotta use that dollar sign. And to use that custom toggle, we have to add the modifier toggle style and custom toggle style, which is the toggle style that we just created. Okay. And I'm just gonna keep adding on to whatever I'm writing right now. Give it more of I'm going to add more modifiers to this toggle. So, uh, since this is a custom toggle, I'm going to give it a turn, uh, ternary operator and this, and save the, save the, this toggle style is true. I mean, if the toggle value, if the toggle value is true, we would give it a green color. Otherwise, we're going to give it a red color. And I'm just going to give it some random text with an overlay. Overlay it. And same thing with the ternary operator. It's pretty useful in SwiftUI. So if the toggle is being toggled to true, then I'll say it's enabled. Otherwise, it's disabled. And why not change the width as well when it is toggled? So same thing with the ternary operator is on. And if it is on, we're just gonna set the width to 100. And if it's not on, uh, we're gonna set it to 125 as the width. 
Okay, so if we run this again using the simulator, I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with this content preview since it's not that reliable right now. Aha, okay. Never mind. I just had to move this into my VStack. Yep, that's my error here. And I'm going to re-indent everything with Control i That's how you re-indent. And run it again. And as you can see, this is our custom toggle. We can toggle it on and off, on and off. And if you want to have it, if you want to give us some juicy animations, we can say with animation and configuration that is on dot toggle. So this is probably the explicit animation. So if we click disable, you can see that animation, that very subtle animation. So yeah, that's pretty much it for toggles. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.